So this question is a diagram question. I had to break up all of the answer choices here just so we can see them all on a single screen. We have choice A here, that graph, choice B's graph, choice C's graph, and choice D's graph. Our original questions graph is here. Um, it looks like we have a graph that is, um, that is in decay. So let's see what the question actually says. It says the graph of the rational function f is shown where y equals f of x and x is greater than or equal to zero, right? Which just basically means we're on the positive side of the x-axis. Which of the following is the graph of y equals f of x plus five? All right, so if I'm adding a five here in this position, that simply means that I'm taking my f of x graph and I'm shifting it up five units. So I should be able to just choose some points on my f of x graph. Let's say this point's a good one because it looks like it goes right through where um, the point one on the x and nine on the y, right, right where those two lines intersect on our graph. So I'd have that point one comma nine, right? If I were to shift that particular point up five units, I should have the point one comma 14, right? Because the X value is not changing. I'm not shifting left or right, but the Y value is changing. I'm going from a positive nine in the original function up five units to a 14. So I'm gonna just start with that. Is there an answer choice that has one comma 14? So for choice A, I have one comma four. So that's no good. For choice B, I have one comma two. So that's also no good. For choice C, I have one, hmm, I can't tell. Maybe that does cross at 14. So maybe C is good. And for choice D, my one also, I can't tell where that crosses. Maybe choice D is good as well. Now let me choose another point and do the exact same thing. How about this point right here? That looks like a good point. Again, where it crosses directly where two of my grid lines intersect. So that point would be three, three, right? In our original function, three, three. So then again, if, I'm, if I am increasing that, or if I'm shifting this graph up five units, that should become three, eight, right? So it should go from three, three to three, eight because my Y value is shifting up five units. So between C and D, what can I tell about um, what's happening when X is three? So when X is three here, it looks like I'm kind of close to five, which is not eight. So I'm gonna say because of that, C is gone. But for choice D, when I'm at X equals three, I am exactly at eight, right where I expect to be if I shifted up five units. So that's the reason why choice D is the correct answer. I love these answers. I love these questions because, you know, Again, it's all visual, it's all diagram based. Of course, you have to know that this plus five means to shift up five units. But after that, we're not really calculating anything. We're just visually determining where things should go based upon where they started and based upon what the question is telling us should happen, which in this case is a shift up of five units.